G'day folks, I'm Wayne. Welcome back to MC News. Here we're talking about the Tuareg. First up, I've got an apology. It's been far too long since I've had an update, but I have an excuse. It's because I was on these things for a little while. Um, yeah, did myself a mischief. Backing back down a hill, uh, stepped off the low side, came down to the, uh, what's called a compression brake in the top of my tibia. I guess the lesson there for me personally is even though it's not your bike, let the bike fall, don't try and hold it up. So anyway, uh, so even though I have been uh, out of action, things have been progressing, albeit a little bit more slowly than I would have liked, but progressing on the, on the Tuareg front um, and pretty soon hopefully I'll be able to get back into it in anger. But let's have a look at a few things that have changed, a few things that I uh, have bought that are on the bike, some things not quite on the bike yet, ready to go on. Um, yeah, I found some good things and uh, let's walk through them. All right, first and foremost, this bad boy's on there. SC Project Slip-On. Not a huge amount of difference in the exhaust note, uh, unfortunately, but saved a decent amount of weight on it. I think three or four kilos. Uh, uh, that might be off the full system, actually. So a couple of kilos, which is going to be transferred back down when I replace that bash plate with another one. More on that in a bit. Um, but yeah, really nice quality. Nice and note, but yeah, not potentially or not huge amount more volume um, maybe that'll come down the track when I do something with the rest of the exhaust once we're out of warranty but uh, yeah SC project nice uh, nice unit what else we got up here bark busters are now on Brit uh, a bit fiddly to get on there really close really close in here let's see if we can have a look at that not a huge amount of clearance right under there but it clears. Um, I love these bark busters, pretty similar to the ones I've got on my dirt bike. Um, but yeah, hey, great quality, really sturdy. So now when I uh, do tip it over, um, that's, uh, that's gonna be much better protected. I've got this great little mount here as well for my quad lock in the center, right in the middle of the bars. It's actually, I hope you can see that, when it bolts down into the clamps around the bars, uh, I'm a bit OCD when it comes to some of this stuff, so I don't like it hanging off the side. This one is going to come off soon. I've got the mag charger unit in the middle. My theory is that being in the middle, it's not going to have as much vibration as out at the end, where it gets amplified the further you are away from the center. So hopefully that'll be a better thing for my phone. Um, I'm not going to be running this when I'm getting really rowdy on here. My phone will still be in my pocket because I'll have this. The good folks at Garmin sent me the new Zumo XT. Lovely unit, not quite wired up yet, but will be very soon by this time next week. Had some dramas trying to find a mount that I was happy with. Got a few different sorts in the end. Found this really nice unit from Moto Pumps. Um, it's actually got a security mechanism just in here. So it's kind of locks, locks that on, really sturdy. I think it's uh, like billet aluminium or something, really nicely made. Um, and I'll put all the links to everything in here in the comments, so if you want to check it out. Um, I don't get anything out of that, or we don't get anything out of that, it's just for, for your benefit. But yeah, I really like that that mount. It sits on the bar quite nicely, and that's as solid as a rock. Uh, that's like, I'm shaking the whole thing there, including that. Um, so I think that'll, that'll come up a treat. What else have we got on here? Um, Engine protection was on there last time. Hopefully by this time next week, there'll be some spotties on here because I think I've mentioned before, but high beam on this is not awesome. Um, so where I live, lots of kangaroos and I want to be able to see them as soon as I possibly can. Um, we've got the foam air filter in there now. Quick shifter is on too, should mention. Um, originally I didn't want to put that on. I didn't think it needed and I, I'm still probably leaning towards that. But I know a lot of a lot of folks are keen to actually yeah, get uh, get a bit of an opinion on does that work? Is it worth it? Is it worth ticking that option? So we'll find that out pretty soon. But uh, heater grips, as I said, they'll go on pretty soon. I'm just going to jump over here because I was also I forgot about these bad boys. These these jiggers. So I've got some some short flippy mirrors. From, I got these from Rottweiler in the States. Um, are they the States or Canada? One or the other, I'll, I'll figure that out. But uh, yeah, these are gonna go on the end. They're gonna mount to the end on here and basically fold fold in and up. Um, they took a while to get here, these ones. 
uh, they were in stock or marked as in stock when I ordered and unfortunately then soon moved to back order um, and took a long long time to get here so they've only just arrived and they probably ordered a couple of months ago so welcome to COVID supply chain um, they'll be on very soon oh the other thing that's got to go on when the heated grips go on these jiggers new grips from Barkbusters uh, yes folks they do grips now I didn't know that either but uh, they look pretty good too good material nice and grippy which is handy for <clears throat> grips uh, anyway so they're going to go on pretty soon as well that's going to be mint and I will have warm mitzies uh, when I'm riding in the cold uh, so it'll make a big difference but yeah uh, all looking pretty pretty good we're not far away from ticking some boxes the one thing that I did mention just a minute ago and that's this this jigger this is going to be replaced also very soon uh, I've been waiting and holding out on replacing that because I knew that there was something local coming and that's from B&B who are I think only about an hour away from me um, they did a great bash plate and um, and rear carry or rear rack for the Desert X that had an actual pivot on it and so I could do some storage in here um, and they've done the same for the Tuareg, so it's on its way. I'll put some I'll put some pictures up in terms of what it looks like, but it's on its way pretty soon. Uh, and I'll I definitely always wanted to run a bash plate or a different one, a stronger one. I wasn't actually going to run a different rack, but um, quite like the look of big, uh, the reason I wasn't going to run one is because I normally run my saddlebags, my giant loop Mojave saddlebags that just clip over here. They don't need a they don't need a rack, but I like the look. Uh, of the new one from b, &B. so we'll, we'll give it a run and see how it looks see how it works and I'm thinking based on my most recent funsies and there hasn't been out for a little while with that little flip rack I can probably put something like that in there <clears throat> maybe that might be a good idea say hello to Pippin folks probably saw her in the background she's our new little puss hey puss I'm normally a dog person but um she's three parts maniac and one part cuddles she's pretty cool Anyway, so that's what's happening in the land of the MC News Tuareg. Won't be long and I will be out and about. The next step, after we've got all that stuff on, is cosmetics. And I have designed uh, a new scheme, which I think looks pretty horn. Uh, I'm going to throw up some pictures right now. Um, tell us what you think. The eagle-eyed amongst you will have spotted that there's something going on at the front. I'm going to try and run a beak here. Um, See if I can get that to work. And if I can't get that to work, then I also got a glimpse of the, the Gureshi boys have put a sneak peek out of one of their bikes running a high fender. So I wonder if they're doing a high fender kit. I know some other guys have already done a conversion and it looks pretty good. But yeah, I, I, think, it, uh, I think we can do something on that front. So we're gonna leave it there today, folks. Uh, yeah, pretty soon. This bad boy's gonna be back in action, and so am I. <laughs> in the meantime, I'm gonna enjoy this. And I'm also gonna enjoy this. Because, hey, it's Sunday. And what do you do on a Sunday? You smoke up some pork. So that's gonna be delicious later on. Uh, yeah, so that's us. That's all for now, folks. Thanks for checking in again. Uh, and again, apologies for being so long between uh, between drinks, but pretty soon we'll be up and running. I'm back on road bikes, but uh, not quite back uh, up to silly shenanigans off road just yet. Got to build up a bit more strength in the in the knee, but um, won't be long. And by that time, hopefully this will be finished and we'll be ready to rock. So uh, we'll catch you then. Thanks everybody. See you then. Pippin. What are you doing? Did I mention that she's a maniac? Yeah. Hey, Puss.